Wow, Steve, I don't know about this, mate. I don't know if we're in cloud or mist or whether it's gonna snow or what. But I'll tell you what, we're lucky because no matter what the weather does, boy, have we got some canvas to climb under here. This is unreal. This is a 2011 model then. Um, the tent's been around for about a year, but it's on our new 011 model trailer. And given the number of GIC campers out there and the fact that you've got over seven years experience building them, there must be a lot of cumulative knowledge gone into it. I think we should have a bit of a look through, eh? Let's go, mate. Good on you, mate. So this is the large room of the main fold-out section of the tent. I reckon. So this would be like, uh, for most people, this would be the kids' number one bedroom, I suppose. It is the kids' number one bedroom. Um, personally, I put two doubles and a single mattress in here to get my five kids in. I see this is fully fly screen then. You can get a fly screen here too? Yep, all the way around. And as you can see, they're all large windows, hot conditions. It really just lets the air flow all the way through. So you're not sitting in a tent or the kids aren't sweltering at night time either. Essentially, you zip the whole lot up. That's it, isn't it? You're not going to have any unfriendly visitors during the night. No, exactly. And it's heavy duty PVC flooring that comes up about 100 mil for moisture all around it. Hey, I like this. Wow. The skylight's unreal, isn't it? Because uh, I always tell people every weekend I seem to go camping. We've got drizzle or something, so I always watch <laughs> the rain during the day and the stars at night. Yeah. And obviously you can just zip the canvas up so you don't get that morning sun beating through waking you up in the morning. And this is a privacy screen, obviously. It is a privacy screen, obviously, because if the five kids are sleeping down here, <laughs> we just have this screen up continuously. And one of the things I like about this is all the ventilation. It's fantastic. It's just like the main tent there. You've got yep. ventilation both ends, both sides. And again, you can do your canvas up from the inside, so there's no reason to have to get up, go outside to do your canvas up. And you got one of these yourself, and you're a big guy. You fit here, no worries? Absolutely perfectly. No yeah. problem whatsoever. Room and for the wife? Room for the wife. They're uh, designed to take an inner spring mattress up to 15 centimetres high as well, so you can camp in absolute comfort. Oh, that's great, isn't it? And this room over the other side, I think we better go take a look at that. That looks pretty impressive too. People use it if they've got young, real young babies in cots and stuff like that. Storage area, dressing area. Yeah. Do with it what you will. What's this thing here on the side? Uh, side access to your trailer there, John. Oh, okay. That's impressive, mate, isn't it? You can get at everything along here. You can get to your gas bottles, your jerry can, lock things in there, zip it back up, keep it away from mischievous people on campsites. <laughs> and the beauty of this tent is too, it's so big, you've got such high roofs, you can cook inside and it's just excellent. Yeah. I know that because we had 11 people in here down the high country, didn't we? Yeah. But it warmed the tent up, didn't it? And it stayed warm all night. Talking warm, this is just getting colder and colder for a Queenslander, mate. Can we stick the walls up? Let's stick the walls on before night call. Hi, oh, crikey, Steve. That's a lot of space under canvas, isn't it? It's a home away from home. It's fantastic. All nice and watertight. You've got two bedrooms, three bedrooms. One, two, three bedrooms. Then you put that centre screen in. You've got a separate kitchen. Enough room for a billiards table over the other end. And is that it? Do you need to do anything else to it? Or... Mate, I've just got to drive some pegs in around the floor, a bit more Velcroing, and it's complete. I like it. Drive those pegs in, Steve. I've let you off the hook. <laughs> 